the Baikonur Cosmodrome. Constructed in 1955, it is the oldest space launch complex in use today. It is the site of some of the most important space missions ever undertaken. Sputnik, the first man-made satellite to orbit Earth, was launched from Baikonur aboard an R-7 rocket on October 4, 1957. And on April 12, 1961, Yuri Gagarin lifted off from Baikonur to become the first man in space. Today, Baikonur Cosmodrome continues to be a backdrop for space industry firsts. The Astra 1H satellite will be the latest Western-owned commercial communication satellite to be placed into orbit by a Russian-built rocket, the Proton launch vehicle. Astra 1H, built by Hughes Space and Communications Company of El Segundo, California, is an HS-601 high-power satellite. At launch, Astra 1H weighs 3,728 kilograms and will measure more than 26 meters across with its solar arrays fully deployed. Once on orbit, Astra 1H will broadcast digital television and radio programming across Europe. The Proton launch vehicle is built and marketed by the joint Russian-American venture ILS, International Launch Services which consists of Lockheed Martin Corporation of the United States, Krunichev State Research and Production Space Center, and the Russian space complex Energia of the Russian Federation. ILS, International Launch Services, offers both the Proton and the Atlas launch vehicles to customers worldwide. Proton is the most capable commercial expendable launch vehicle in operation today. Proton can put a payload weighing 2,000 kilograms on a geosynchronous orbit or a 20,900 kilogram payload into low Earth orbit. The four-stage Proton that will lift the Astra 1H satellite is over 60 meters tall and weighs over 550,000 kilograms. The first three stages are propelled using unsymmetric dimethylhydrazine and nitrogen tetroxide, while the fourth stage uses kerosene and liquid oxygen. Approximately 1.6 seconds before liftoff, stage one engines are ignited and the proton roars to life. 10 seconds after liftoff, the proton executes a roll maneuver to align its flight direction. 66 seconds after liftoff, Proton is traveling at Mach 1. The first stage is equipped with six gimbaled, single-chamber liquid propellant rocket engines that fire for approximately two minutes, propelling the vehicle to an altitude of 50 kilometers. After stage one separation, the four gimbaled, single-chamber liquid propellant rocket engines of the second stage burn for just over three and a half minutes. At this point, stage two separation occurs, allowing stage three to propel the vehicle to a 200 kilometer circular parking orbit. Fairing separation occurs during third stage flight. After reaching parking orbit, Astro 1H is traveling above the Earth at a speed of Mach 25. At nine minutes and 49 seconds into the flight, stage three separation occurs. 55 seconds after stage three separation, the protective shroud of the upper stage block DM is released. From the parking orbit, the block DM will deliver Astro 1H to its target geosynchronous transfer orbit by means of two burns that are separated by five hours and five minutes. Six hours and 42 minutes after liftoff, the block DM separates from Astro 1H. International Launch Services is proud to participate with Hughes Space and Communications Company and Société Européenne des Satellites, SES, of Luxembourg in launching the Astro 1H spacecraft.
the 18th of June, 1999, and another milestone is reached in the continuing success of Europe's leading satellite operator. That satellite operator is SES, the Société Européenne des Satellites, and the milestone is the launch of the company's latest satellite, Astra 1H. Astra 1H is the ninth satellite in the Astra fleet. It will join seven of the other Astra satellites, which are located at SES's first orbital position of 19.2 degrees east. From here, the satellites can relay TV programs, data and multimedia services right across Europe. Astra 1H not only provides a further 30 KU band transponders on Astra, it is also the first satellite in Europe to carry a KA band payload for commercial use. And this opens up a whole new world of interactive communications opportunities for Europe's broadcasters and businesses. SES already offers multimedia services via Astronet and other platforms, providing high-speed, wide bandwidth connection via the Astra satellite system to any destination within its huge footprint. The latest innovation to complement this service is a unique return channel technology designed to enable end users to achieve high-speed, two-way communications via the Astra satellites. Astra 1H's KA band transponders are key to this return channel technology, allowing it to receive return signals from end users and relay them to SES's ground control center in Betzdorf in Luxembourg. From there, the data can be sent onwards via the Astra satellites to any destination within the footprint and via other links anywhere in the world. Access to this huge resource is via a simple satellite interactive terminal consisting of a small personal dish, a PC, and either a set-top box or an internal PC card. And the system offers endless applications for business and even personal data communications. Training and distance learning from a single center to multiple sites, and all those sites can communicate back. Business television from a single transmission center to multiple reception points. Remote monitoring, collecting data from remote sources at a single monitoring center. Store and forward applications, for example, the transfer of video libraries to servers at the hub to be later accessed by other users. Retail information networks distribution of product or price information from head office to multiple outlets, and direct return of sales information from any outlet at any time. In addition to offering the capability for all these high-speed interactive applications, Astra 1H will also provide backup for the analog and digital transmissions of the other satellites at 19.2 degrees east. The extensive backup available on Astra 1H will further enhance the Astra system's reliability, a key achievement for SES's clients. SES Astra satellites have been carrying programs and services for major European clients since 1989. Today, a publicly quoted company, SES is the world's most successful DTH satellite operator carrying over 700 TV, radio, and multimedia services to nearly 75 million households. In 1998, SES also became a strategic investor in AsiaSat, Asia's leading satellite operator. Based in Hong Kong, AsiaSat provides a transmission platform for the region's major broadcasters and extensive telecom services, reaching important markets with huge growth potential. The involvement with AsiaSat, the launch of Astra 1H, and the continuous development of new technologies, such as the return channel system, are further steps towards SES's goal. To create a global broadband satellite infrastructure, offering a one-stop shop solution for the program transmission and data communications needs of the world's broadcasters and businesses.
Хранилища компонентных ракетных топлив заполнены до эксплуатационных норм. Я Космический аппарат Астра-1 наш э, прибыл на Байконур 20 мая. Yeah. <laughs> 